first and foremost, I am grateful to the Wing Pharmacist for the kind of support and guidance they are providing to the students. This actually is impacting the community in a great way and this is really appreciable. Proceeding ahead, myself Manik Sharma, currently pursuing M Pharmacy in Pharmacology from Punjabi University, Patiala. I also appeared for the CUE 2022 and I got AIR1 in Pharmacy. Today, I'm not gonna share with you that what your ideal strategy should look like because I believe that varies from individual to individual. What actually I'm gonna suggest you are the three things that work for me and I'm sure gonna work for you as well. So coming to those, number one is solve MCQs as much as you can. Look, in the exam hall, we actually gonna face MCQs. So starting from day one, we are gonna mentally prepared for that. So if we solve MCQs daily, it's actually gonna prepare us for the kind of environment that we are going to face in the examination hall. And for that purpose, we can actually prefer to GPAD previous question papers. And if you have access to CUET previous question paper, then it's actually a great deal. You're gonna get idea of what kind of questions are they asking. And most importantly, you don't just solve the questions, but also analyze your mistakes. What actually are the mistakes you're making and how you can improve them. Focus on your weak areas. Just look out for the mistakes you are making constantly and improve and learn the right concept behind them. Number two is the part A. As we know, CUT comprises of question paper in two parts, that is part A and part B. Part A deals with 25 questions from the general aptitude and somewhat general knowledge. And part B comprises of knowledge domain. For us, knowledge domain is comfortable, but when it comes to part A, most of the students are actually scary of that part. But as per my experience, I think this isn't that much scary. If you have basic IQ, then you can easily solve the questions. Most of the questions are easy. And for the practice purpose, if you solve previous year SSCs or SSB question papers, you're gonna actually mark most of the questions with their with ease. I actually scored 83 out of 100 in part A. And I think it's the best area to score marks. So for that purpose, solve SSB question papers and SSC question papers as well. This, this is actually gonna help you. The next thing is, the third thing, is don't make a mistake of leaving any subject for whole. Like it's common in students, like uh, I'm gonna leave pharmacognosy or I'm gonna leave biochem, I'm gonna leave medicinal chemistry. This isn't the best option I, see, I would say. Cause in CUT, what they are doing, they are actually asking us the basic questions. So if we have the basic idea of the question, we can mark the answer eight out of 10 times correctly. So what I'm suggesting you is don't leave any subject for whole. We actually have two months currently. If we start from today, we can have basic idea about the subjects. So don't leave any subject for whole. Just grab the basic basic things of the subjects. Like for example, if you talk about biopharmaceutics, then you should know what are class one, class two, class three and class four drugs. Just don't leave the things. And if we talk about jurisprudence, then we should know what schedule Y is, what schedule P is, when drugs and cosmetic acts came into play and all those rules and acts. So the basic idea behind this is just don't leave any subject for whole. Just grab as much as you can. There's no restriction. Just grab a little bit from whole subjects because the questions are of basic level. And at last, I would say just don't take unnecessary burden. Because I can assure you, at last, you're gonna make it. Because the whole thing we can control is the process. And as MS Dhoni always says, process is more important than the results. If we take care of the process, the results gonna take care of themselves. So just eat well, prepare well, and stay healthy and stay positive. You actually gonna make that, trust me. At last, I would like to share a favorite quote of mine. 
from Muhammad Ali with you. That says, to be a champion, you have to believe you are the best. If you are not, pretend that you are. Thank you.